The salvation of the people says the Lord should they cry to me in their distress I will hear them and I will be their Lord forever in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore Amen we offer this Mass for our parish for all who live and work within its bounds, for our gathered community, especially for those who are vulnerable among us. At the beginning of Mass, we call to mind our need for God's forgiveness and mercy and confess our sins. You raise the dead to life in the spirit, Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ have mercy. You intercede for us at the Father's right hand. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. God who in generous mercy sent the Holy Spirit upon your church in the burning fire of your love Grant that your people may be fervent in the fellowship of the gospel, that always abiding in you, they may be found steadfast in faith and active in service. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the book Ecclesiastes. Rejoice in your youth, you who are young. Let your heart give you joy in your young days. Follow the promptings of your heart and the desires of your eyes. But this you must know. For all these things God will bring you to judgment. Cast worry from your heart. Shield your flesh from pain. Yet youth, the age of dark hair, is vanity. And remember your Creator in the days of your youth before evil days come and the years approach when you say, These give me no pleasure. 
before sun and light and moon and stars grow dark and the clouds return after the rain the day when those who keep the house tremble and strong men are bowed when the women grind no longer at the mill because day is darkened at the windows and the street doors are shut when the sound of the mill is faint when the voice of the bird is silenced and song notes are stilled when to go uphill is an ordeal and a walk is something to dread yet the almond tree is in flower the grasshopper is heavy with food and the caper bush bears its fruit while man goes to his everlasting home and the mourners are already walking to and fro in the streets before the silver cord has snapped or the gold lamp been broken or the pitcher shattered at the spring or the pulley cracked at the well or before the dust returns to the earth as it once came from and the breath of God who gave it vanity of vanities the preacher says all is vanity O Lord you have been our refuge from one generation to the next You turn them back to dust and say, Go back, sons of men, to your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. You sweep men away like a dream, like the grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers, by evening it withers and fades. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent. Is your anger forever? Show pity to your servants. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Let the favour of the Lord be upon us, give success to the work of our hands. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Let it have cleansed my heart and my lips, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to accept the words of your Son. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At a time when everyone was full of admiration for all he did, Jesus said to his disciples, for your part, you must have these words constantly in your mind. The Son of Man is going to be handed over into the power of men. But they did not understand him when he said this. It was hidden from them, so that they should not seek the meaning of it, and they were afraid to ask him about what he had just said. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So the first reading speaks to us about priority, what it is that we make a priority in our lives. So we pray to God that by his grace and his gift we may make our relationship with him the first priority in our lives and our relationship with the Lord Jesus at the centre of our lives. We pray for his holy church throughout the world all who seek to proclaim with faithfulness that God is merciful, that God is just, that God is full of compassion and love, especially at this time when many need to hear this good news. We continue our prayers for all those who are working to Help us come to terms with the coronavirus, those working for a vaccine, those working in our hospitals, in our test centres, 
in our communities, in our nursing homes. And we renew our prayers for our parish, for all those on the sick, the list of the sick and needy. And we hold before God those whom we love but see no longer in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. We commend all those for whom we pray and ourselves to the gracious intercession of our Blessed Lady as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, which will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Receive with favour, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we give you thanks and praise. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit he took flesh, as your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection. By rising to new life, so he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your grace and glorious name forever, praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. 
Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, of St John, our patron, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you for ever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord Jesus is present among us, and so we pray to the Father as he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant us peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our saviour jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Corpus Christi, Nicastolia. I am the Good Shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Keep, O Lord, your church with your perpetual mercy, and because without you our human frailty cannot but fail, keep us ever by your help from all things hurtful, and lead us to all things profitable to our salvation, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.